Thank you very much everybody for attending uh, today's webinar. Uh, my name is Grant Mankies. I'll be hosting the webinar around uh, using derivatives to your advantage. At any point in the, time, in the presentation, you can drop me a question and uh, I'll try and address it in the presentation or there will be a couple of minutes after to go through some of the uh, common questions and address it then. So let's just start by looking at uh, uh, what's happening in the market currently. So the two graphs uh, represent firstly the top graph, what is happening on the currency market and the bottom one is the top 40 index tradable in South Africa. As we look at the, the uh, currency market, we all know it's been really volatile uh, since Nenegate, uh, December 2015, as well as a lot of uh, political instability in South Africa and of course the budget speech today. So as you look at the graph, there was quite a lot of uh, RAND strengthening over the last uh, two days, but we'll get through uh, currencies as a product a little bit later in the presentation. Secondly, you can look at the top 40 index. You can look, it almost looks like a, a big mountain that was created since uh, through the middle of last year. But over the last year, effectively, the top 40 index is negative. Uh, but there would have been lots of opportunity for you to transact index futures through this time period. So what products are available uh, that you can trade derivatives on? We have contracts for difference, CFDs, single stock futures, index futures, and currency futures. What do these actually give you the ability to do? It gives you the ability to be capital efficient. It's if you can be flexible, creates uh, lots of liquidity in the market your higher returns due to lower input costs and lower trading costs. So let's get through some of the benefits, uh, features and benefits of uh, CFDs. When we talk about it's being capital efficient, it means you only place a margin to trade the CFD instead of placing the full cost price of a share. You can also go short, so a lot of people don't understand shorting the market. It means effectively you're selling something you don't own yet. What happens then, you benefit if the share price decreases, and for that ability there's a, a short script lending fee of 1.5% per annum, or 250 Rand minimum fee. Lower trading costs, you only pay 0.5% or 0.4% commission on, on the transaction if you compare that to trading with shares. The shares will cost you a minimum of 98 Rand per transaction or 0.9 basis points on the value of the transaction and of course on a sliding scale. Interest, when you go long a CFD, you're effectively taking a position that the market will rise. You place a, a margin or a good faith deposit with us as your market maker. But what happens is in the underlying, we actually have to go and buy that underlying security which means the market maker uses his own funds, 100% of the funds, and for that ability there's an interest payable. So what happens is you pay interest on the full exposure of the, of the instrument traded, although you've only placed a small uh, good faith deposit margin. On the margin, separately, you earn a, a separate interest rate as well. We can go short or long positions and you can do some hedging. So what do we mean hedging? If we look at uh, recent times when uh, ShopRite and uh, SPA had the corporate action activity, when the share price was uh, decreasing, you could have taken out a short position on ShopRite or on uh, Steinoff and benefited by the short uh, by the short term fall in the share price. If you're looking to if you have another position in another stock and something comes out that is negatively affecting your share price, you can go short to the CFD on that as well if you don't want to sell the underlying share and realize capital gain. Because over the long term, you still believe in that specific share and therefore you don't want to liquidate it out of your portfolio. When, it, when we talk about synthetic dividends on CFDs, you actually receive the cash flow if a, if a company pays out the dividend, but that dividend is not taxable and therefore is seen as a synthetic dividend or a manufactured dividend, and that will be treated as income. You will receive, so we'll use a simple example, if you have a, a 100 Rand share and it pays a 1 Rand dividend, uh, the share price will drop by the value of the dividend, so tomorrow morning 
um, the share price will go to 99 Rand, but you will have a synthetic cash flow for the one Rand of the dividends. So you don't uh, lose money when the company pays dividends. If you're short this, uh, the CFD, you will then also be forced to pay the dividends over to the synthetic dividends over to the long position holder. Direct market access, what that means is there is no, um, there's no, the market maker effectively does not take a, a spread on the price. The price you see on the CFD is the actual price of the underlying uh, instrument uh, when you trade um, the CFD with us. A lot of other market makers sometimes do some uh, a little bit of a spread on the price, so they'll charge you a lower brokerage or a transactional fee, but they do make a point or, or a cent or two on the underlying price of that instrument. When we tell you, say no voting rights on CFDs, because you're trading a derivative, you will not be the registered owner in the shareholders register, and therefore you would not get an invite to the AGM, and you may not vote at those AGMs. When we say place trades after hours, it means any time after the market has closed, you may place a buy or sell order for CFDs, and tomorrow morning when the market opens, we will then submit those orders to the market. When we talk about a risk of losing more than your initial margin, use a simple example. You have a 100 Rand share. You put up 15% uh, uh, cash or margin as a uh, collateral or your good faith deposit. And that, if the share price has a massive fall tomorrow morning, more than 15 Rand, you will still be liable for the variation margin on that position if you don't close out that position. Price alerts and stops is it's self-explanatory. You create an alert or you create a stop on that specific instrument and you'll then either get an SMS or uh, email as you elect and the position could be closed out if it's reached your risk parameters. Price transparency. Price transparency is quite important because we don't take a spread on any of the underlying prices. So if you have to trade a CFD and you say to me, Grant, uh, I was trying to buy share X at 100 Rand. The share was trading there, why did I not trade? Um, that is what we will then be able to go and say, listen, you've placed the order at 100 Rand, it might have been a, a block trade or something to that effect, but if, if your price is, is in the market, you will get that price um, that you have specified. You will get a price, you could get a price better, but never a price worse than what you've stipulated. So what are the, some of the benefits of single stock futures? Single stock futures and CFDs are, are pretty similar in nature. The only difference, major, there's two major differences. The single stock futures trade on a regulated exchange and expire every quarter, uh, March, June, September, and December. And on a single stock future, the minimum lot size is one contract, but one contract equals 100 of the underlying securities. On a CFD, a one contract means one share. So that's the two major differences to those. As I said, it's regulated by the JSC. The uh, interest is payable on the long and short position, or interest is earned on the short position, interest is payable on the long position. The interest that you do pay is embedded in the futures price. So there's not going to be a separate line item entry in your portfolio to say, this is the interest on the position that you've taken, where uh, a CFD, you will have a separate line item for interest used. It's capital efficient once again because you only place 15% uh, or 15 or 20% margin to taking full exposure on the on the underlying security. There is unfortunately a quarterly rolling fee, which will be we'll close out your existing contract at no fee and open the new contract at the normal transactional fees. Training costs are at 0.5%. There's 40 basis points for PSG and 10 basis points for our market maker to trade these uh, products in the market. As I explained, exp expires the third Thursday of every quarter, March, June, September, and December. If the Thursday tends to be a holiday, we had that, I think, last year, December, it will then expire the Wednesday. You can also hedge your portfolio. Um, you are dividend neutral, and you also earn manufactured dividends. What does that mean for the layman? If a company, if you buy a single stock future on, say, MTN, and in that, in, and you buy a long dated contract, you say currently we can buy a, a June contract, and included in that period, MTN might pay a dividend. So what happens is the market maker will assume a dividend in the period and then give you a price accordingly. If the dividend comes out different to 
the anticipated dividend, there could be a, a change in the value of that uh, specific single stock future. What the market has then done is says they've given you the ability to trade dividend neutral. So what you do is you separate the dividend from the underlying equity. So you'll buy uh, a Q contract and an F contract. So what that means is if the dividend comes out any different to what was anticipated, you do not see any effect on the value of your single stock future portfolio. You also have no voting rights on, C, uh, on single stock futures, clearly because you're trading the derivative and you're not holding the underlying um, um, specific instrument or you're not registered in the shareholders register. You trade on our platform, you can place trades after hours, exactly the same as CFDs, and you can put stop losses on on your on your on your uh, portfolio. I've just used a, a British American Tobacco's graph here to show you how volatile the share has been over the period last 12, 12 months. There's lots of opportunity that was created for you to benefit in the rising and falling of the market. So let's look at some of the benefits of index futures. Futures contracts are based on the top 40 index. So if you look at the top 40 shares in South Africa, each of those shares has a specific weighting to the top 40 index. The bigger the value, the market cap of those shares, the bigger their weighting. I think, if I, I could, be, could be corrected, but the top 15 shares make up about 85% of the top 40's weighting. So those shares will include British American Tobacco, Sassel, um, Anglo-American and those. SAS, SAB was historically the biggest contributor to that, but has fallen out since it delisted uh, in November last year. The ben nice benefit of index futures is for every index point that the market moves is worth 10 Rand in profit. So if the market moves 1,000 points, you could either make or lose 100 points. It will, you can move, make or lose 1,000 Rand. The nice thing about index futures also, you can buy, uh, buy and sell them so that you can go long or short. And it's quite easy and quick and cost effective to trade these. The liquidity in this market is highly popular. So there is lots and lots of contracts that trade throughout the day. The initial margin uh, is SAFX plus the PSG securities variation margin. Currently, uh, you can trade the March contract. I see I haven't updated the slide, apologies. And the margin on that contract is 30,000 Rand per contract. It might seem expensive, but if you look at the value of the contract, you're taking 460,000 Rand's worth of exposure by paying 30,000 Rand. So it's it's very high on gearing. Low trading cost, 25 Rand per contract. Uh, variation margin is realized on a, on a daily basis. And um, the variation margin is then based on how many points the market has moved in the day times 10 Rand per point. The tight spreads, sometimes the market trades at five or six points. So five or six points is only like a 60 Rand spread for you to start making money. The expiries are exactly the same as single stock futures. They expire on the third Thursday of March, June, September, and of course, December. This is just a quick graph that I want to show you how the market has moved in the last 12 months. As you could see, there was a, a lots of opportunity for guys to have uh, participated in the market. Something that is really relevant these days is our currency. Our currency be, is being very volatile and currency futures allows you to participate in that market. So what does currency futures give you? It allows local traders the exposure to foreign currency movements and of course relative to the Rand. The nice thing about trading currency futures, because it's settled in Rand, it does not affect your offshore allowance. Every contract that you purchase is worth a thousand of the underlying currency and the popular ones that we have is a US dollar, Euro, British pound, and of course, uh, the Australian Rand, uh, Australian dollar. What you can do is you can also buy or sell these products, so you can go long or short. If you buy the dollar Rand, you are, are bullish on the on the dollar, um, and you are bearish on the Rand effectively by buying this product. It is a geared product as well because you only place initial margin to transact the contract, and the fixed margin on the March. Uh, 2017 Aussie is 1400 Rand. So if you're thinking you are taking uh, the Rand dollar is currently at 1310, 
and you multiply that by a thousand, you're taking 13,000 rands worth of exposure and only placing 1,400 rand um, initial margin on that contract. If the market, uh, if so, the, the gearing is calculated at 13.93, for the example, times a thousand, so you're taking 13. Uh, 1,930 rands worth of exposure, divide that by 1,400 rand for the margin, it's 9.8 times geared. So every point, every point that the index moves is also worth 10 rand. Trading cost on currency futures also relatively low, you're paying 20 rand per contract. This, is, this graph just illustrates how volatile our rand has been over the last 12 months. As you can see, August last year was, I think, Mr. Praveen Gordon uh, talks about him being uh, uh, or reprimanded by the Hawks. And of course, November, everybody was, uh, that was a period of time when the South African market was uh, tending to most probably be downgraded. And uh, as you can see, the currency moved and replicated that. So what does this do for us? It is, so when we talk about derivative products, um, it is capital efficient. It gives you the opportunity to leverage your portfolio. Sorry, hold on one second. Um, uh, you take, uh, you put 15% initial margin down, you get 100% exposure to the underlying product and it then relates to six times geared. On CFDs, if you're buying the same contract on CFDs, uh, you buy one BTI contract, currently it's going to cost you 5,336 Rand. The gearing on this is extreme. It's 14.5 times. So please make sure that when you buy certain products that you are experienced enough to trade those con uh, products. So let's do a quick comparison in terms of, of trading costs. If you buy 100 uh, BTI shares, it's going to cost you 77,000 Rand. That's the capital that you're going to outlay. The brokerage costs 0.9% with a sliding scale up to 0.85. So total brokerage is 447 Rand plus uh, a 447 Rand plus a 225, 672 Rand plus of course VAT on that and securities transfer tax. So 961 Rand to take 77,000 Rand of exposure. If you compare that to trading a single stock future, you'll buy one BTIQ contract. You'll still have the same exposure, 77,000 Rand the brokerage is a lot lower, so 388 Rand plus VAT plus our booking fees. Total fee of 502 Rand, almost half the price of trading the outright uh, security. So how does, it, how does it benefit you? You have high returns versus capital invested. You cannot make more money on single stock futures than you would have made on, on the outright share. That's something that we have to remember. If you were had enough money to buy 100 BTI shares at 77,000 Rand and you buy one contract to get the same exposure of 77,000 Rand, you cannot make more money. The only thing is the return on investment in percentage terms is a lot higher. If you get a lot uh, more um, comfortable with trading single stock futures and you over gear yourself, what that means is you'll take the 77,000 Rand and you'll actually buy more single stock futures than just one. So in this example, you would take 77,000 Rand, divide that by the margin of 5,000, uh, I think it was in the previous slide, 5,336. So effectively, you would be able to buy 14 BTI contracts with the same amount of cash that you would have bought one, uh, 100 BTI shares. What that also means is for every 1% that the market moves up, you'll make 14% on your capital invested. The single stock features are more flexible, so you can buy and sell the contracts, and liquidity is as liquid as the underlying shares would be. What about our considerations? If you're a novice trader, should you venture into trading derivatives? My initial response to you would be no. Gain enough confidence. Educate yourself on the product. Prepare a, a paper trade. There's a single stock future simulator, and start small. If you trade one contract or 100 of the underlying shares, you'll start understanding how the product works. You'll start seeing how the cash flows works, how the dividends works. But more importantly, you'll get exposure to the market and start enjoying trading these products. So what are some of the benefits? How long should you hold uh, derivatives? Because derivatives in nature is short-term instruments. If you're a day trader, trade index futures or currency futures. The volatility on those is extreme enough for you to make enough money to cover your brokerage and 
make a turn. Single stock futures and CFDs, on the other hand, is all dependent on the underlying market. So if the market moves three or four percent, is that three or four percent enough for you to make a profit after trading costs? If not, you'll most probably hold the position for two to 30 days. If you're a position trader, you could hold uh, single stock features and CFDs for an extended period of time. Just one thing to consider is that the longer you hold the position, the more interest you're paying on the CFD. Simple example, if you're trading a CFD and you've held it for a year, the funding on CFDs is at prime minus one, so nine and a half percent. You would hope that that share has made a capital gain of more than nine and a half percent for the year to, for you to cover your interest cost and then start making a profit. So that's something you need to consider when trading CFDs as well. Are there any questions at the, this point in time? Just hold on one second, uh, guys. I'm just getting to the question section. Sorry, everybody. I apologize. Okay. Whilst I try and figure this out, let me carry on with the presentation. So what is this um, product, uh, what is some of the stuff that you need to remember when trading uh, derivatives? Leverage can be a double-edged sword. What that means is you could get burnt on either side by going long or short the market. If the market moves against you, you will lose um, some money. What the nice thing about uh, single stock features and CFDs, because of the cost effectiveness in terms of the brokerage, it is quite easy to trade in and out of these positions intraday. Um, if the market change, you need to change. Benefits in tra of trading derivatives, it's capital efficient. It has low trading costs. You have the ability to go long and short. The nice thing about uh, these products, you can educate yourself by um, joining our uh, webinars like this and you'll be um, gaining a lot of uh, information around the product. Uh, trading strategies and technical charts are also available for you as the investor uh, to track these against so you can take your trading strategies against those. All right, um, let's start. Uh, I've got our questions that you guys have raised. So one of the questions was, does a CFD agreement have an expiry date? No, that's the nice thing about a CFD. So if you compare a CFD to a single stock future, single stock futures have your quarterly rollovers. On a CFD, you have it's a perpetual instrument, no maturity date. You can hold it as long as you want, as long as, uh, as I explained, the product returns more than the interest um, that you are paying on the long position or on the short position. If the market falls, you will earn interest on that product as well. The recording will definitely be um, available after as per usual. Uh, when I buy CFDs with PSG, am I only exposed to PSG shares or other shares top 40 index? So when you buy CFDs, you are buying it with PSG securities, but there's a list of the top 100 shares in the market that you can trade CFDs on. The margin will be reflective of the, uh, so the top 40 shares, you'll pay 15% margin. The top 41 to 100 shares, you'll pay 17% uh, initial margin. Can we get away with a single account for trading CFDs? Uh, or an, Unfortunately, currently, you have to open up a account for every product that you want to transact. So you want to have a a CFD account and then a single stock futures account, the single stock futures account and then of course the currency futures account which will give you the ability to trade those products. Um, can you also please indicate where we should go on the trading platform, do we need to register a new account? So yes, you'll definitely need to register a new account, open new account, it will say CFDs 
or single stock futures. It will take about 24 hours for that to be registered. Single stock futures slightly longer. It could take two days because what has to happen is we have to send off the request to the JSE. The JSE opens up your account and then we get a, a unique reference number which we will then show to you. Since I pay a margin to get exposure to shares, what happens if the if one party fails to make a payment? So, uh, in simplistic terms, every single stock future is um, guaranteed by the JSE, by SAFEX. So, how the guarantees work, the PSG Securities stands good for all its clients to our clearing member. Our clearing member that then stands good to the JSE for every transaction that happens. So even if the client can't pay, the broker will be required to pay. If the broker is unable to pay, the clearing member will be paying that variation margin over to you. The clearing members, if you wonder who they are, they're the big four banks in South Africa. So that um, cash is definitely a guarantee. Where can I see a summary of all the costs for different instruments? The costs per instrument is under each and every product. So when you go onto the website and you say, I want to trade local shares, there's a fee section for local shares, or I want to trade single stock futures, there's a section and the fees for that as well. I, are there any other questions uh, at this point in time? Total trading cost of 100 CFD, so BTI versus one single stock future. So, I think I did cover that in the presentation. Let's just go, I did, maybe I did not. Franz, what I will do is I'll send you a quick email with a, a comparison of those fees um, a little bit later on. If there aren't any other questions, guys, I think uh, we've done run a little bit over time. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. The presentation will be available as per usual after, after the webinar as today and uh, good luck in trading derivatives. Thanks very much.